Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Man vs. Fish, joined today by Pops um, to show us a tip. A uh, real quick tip for you. This is how to apply a sinker stop or a bobber stop to your line. Pops, why would somebody do something like this? Because you want to peg your, your weight. You don't want that weight sliding around and you don't want your bait disconnected from the weight. So if you're punching mats, punching grass, sometimes if you don't have it pegged, that bait's going to hang up in whatever you're punching through and the weight's going to continue to weight's slide. Weight's going to keep going. And that doesn't give you the vertical fall you're after. So you want to peg that weight nice and tight and protect your knot by pegging your weight right next to your plastic. All right, so pay attention. Real quick tip, this is going to be an easy one and you're going to, you're never going to be able to fish grass mats um, without them again. So enjoy. Okay, we're going to use VMC sinker stops because we use these a lot personally. They usually come packaged like this with the little wires on there. All you're going to do is take your line, pick one little wire end right there, and stick your line through that. Pull it. Now, you're going to take that little piece of plastic and pull it onto your line. Just like that. Then you're going to take your tag end, make sure it's your tag end, and pull it off of the sinker stop. Pull it out. Now you've got your sinker stop on your line. Tie your weight and your hook. This will slide up and down for you and peg your weight where you want it. 